Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we came out into the wastes of Aquila City and uh, we had to come to a farm to get the last will and testament of somebody called Sahar, which we did. And then uh, we spotted this mining platform here, which we found was overrun with like these weird monster like I don't even know how to describe them. Gross. That's how they were. They were gross. But we couldn't find a way in. But as I was um, shutting down my game and taking one last little look around after I'd finished recording, I found the door to which is there just to the left-hand side of the screen. So we're going to go in there and have a look. So let's get into it. Shoop. Sam, you are very close, my dude. Very close. Excuse me. Thank you. Right. Yes, so in here. I missed this completely. Like a fool, so... Oh. Hello. Ah. No, thank you. So this was obviously an Argos mining site. Which, well, that's fine, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, these things. I came in here last time just to check that it wasn't somewhere I had been and killed these three. But these things, I mean, what the hell? I don't even know what... I don't even know which is the head end. That's how bad this is. I mean... Ugh, whatever. Let's... Yeah. Is that the head? Or is that the... Oh, okay. Let's not... Let's just not try and guess. Yes, I came in and killed these, so... Let's have a peep. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well... Well, I'll, I'll take that. I don't really want your solstice. Um, sorry you had such a sticky end. Ugh. Very sticky end. Ugh, stinky. Okay. Any more of them things up here? Is that dead? Are you dead? Is that moving? I can't tell. No, it's dead. It's dead, that's fine. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Oh. Good lord. Mondays, am I right? Yeah. Although it's actually a Wednesday at the moment, as I am filming this. I tend to film all the videos for the week, in the week before. So, oh. Abay Sherian's data slate. James, <gasps> can you see down to the main deck? Is there anyone alive down there? Oh dear. I don't know, man. Grizzly. I can't don't hear anything. Job. Those crowds are just going to keep coming. They are. Where the hell are they coming from? Check the ocean. There's Ooh. no life down there. I think well, we brought them up here. Okay. What? Yeah. Do you know that barrier we've been trying to punch the drill through for the past week? Well, this morning we broke through. Oh dear. But it wasn't oil that came up. It was those creatures. <sighs> I was here in the control room. Hundreds of those creatures climbed out of the drill too. Ooh. Oh shit. So that was the explosion? Yeah. Look, the underside of them is even worse, but so this this looks like the head end. Oh, they're so gross. Such stinky buds. Yeah, well, let's take that. Ooh, hello. Solomon's Adventures 03 permanently adds 5% to melee weapon critical damage. Well, why not? We don't use melee weapons often, but when we do, it would be nice to um, have some extra damage. So that's fine. Nothing in there. Coachman, meh. All right, let's see what's on these PCs first before we do anything else. Oh, coffee, hello. Give me a coffee. Oops, although I just have a nice cup of tea, actually. And I've got another one currently sat on my desk in front of me. Okay, drill operations panel, let's have a look at this. Join diagnostic network. Error, unable to reach diagnostic network. No response received after 30 milliseconds. An alert has been sent to engineering staff. 
Error, cannot reach engineering stuff. Oh dear. Damn. All right. So what about this one? Drill operations panel, another one. Is this the same, same thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Always worth a look. Come on, Samuel. Let's just um, continue onwards. Um, hopefully, we won't run into anything too severe. Oh, this is the bridge look. Cool. Look at that view, man. That's so cool, isn't it? Oh, there's our ship over there. Hey. All right. Well, this is not going to be fun, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Die a horrible death. Damn, Samuel! I mean, are you for real? You just stood there! Stood there! Jeez, Louis. Oh, you better hurry up and tell me what your quest thing is because I want my good lady back. She wouldn't have stood for this. She'd have been in there like a mighty bazooka. And you're there like a pancake, sat doing nothing. Good grief. Useless. Absolutely useless. All right. I don't want to near this garbage. It just weigh me down. Oh, oh, oh. Sam. Sam, they're this way. This way, dum dum. Oh. The lights are definitely not all on upstairs, are they? Alright, Sam, well, whatever. Why don't you stay here and play with Mr. Wilby? He'll, he'll sort you out. Good lord. You're useless. Useless cretin. Oh, 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 this is nice. Not a soul made it. No. Just another damn graveyard. Yep. Unfortunately. Oh god, I didn't really want the alien sandwich, but that's fine. Well, we might as well um, have a good sniff about. See what we can find, if anything. Choco bites. Do you know what? We are a little bit injured. I'll have that tea and some cheddar snack crackers. I like crackers. I've had some crackers this evening, actually. This is presently a Wednesday evening in the UK, and it's not a bad evening, actually. I've had some pretty severe rain on my way home from work, but all in all, it's not too bad now. Good grief, it was a bloodbath. My God. Well, all right. I mean, how did they let all these things in here? That's that's my question to the... Um, I know they came up through the drill, but surely to God they must have been able to, like, shut the doors or something. Close the door. Seal it off, I don't know. Oh. A teal stylus. Not really what I want, but that's fine. Okay, rec room panel. Stop taking the Xenoyaki! To whoever's been taking the Xenoyaki, stop! Those come all the way from Neon. Mum sends them and you know how rarely we get supply drops here. Next time I find an empty wrapper under somebody's mattress, your bunk is going right onto the ice. Love, Sam. Alright, Sam. Well, okay. Guess your, your Xenomaki didn't really, end, really matter in the end, huh? We are out of half and half. Get some nuts, please. Shelled. Alright, well. Baguette. I don't think we want to eat the bloody baguette, do we? Well, Gabriel Davis. Oh, well. Gabriel, why is your hand moving? He's haunted. A ghost! Let's get out. Oh my god. God, look at this. Ah, uh, okay. Bandages. Can we use bandages? I can't remember. Creds. Samuel. Well, there you go. 
Damn. That's that's awful. But I do think we got a I think we got an ambient quest from this, didn't we? With regards to this little place. Speak with Kelton Frush. Where is Kelton Frush, I wonder? Ah, well, he might be back in Aquila, so let's head back there now that we've been through all this and um Well, if Kelton needs to know, let's tell him what's going on. Woo! Here we are, back at Aquila. Turns out that that Kelton Frush is um, back on Jemison, so we'll talk to him another time. But I wonder what that's... maybe maybe that'll lead to something else. Everything good? We're here to help. Guessing they were... Uh, wanting to know information about the miners out there, why they hadn't heard from them. And well, now we know why they haven't heard from them. Those things, though. Black. Stinky. Gross. Uh, who's that? Elias Cartwright, that's who we want to speak to. Because there is an option to speak to another dude, but I think Something he's the report? investor dude, and I don't really want to help him out. I'm trying to be good, you see. I'm trying to help out. I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hassanovs never sat right with him. Well. Old Sahar was so sad near the end. But her lawyer would have surely made her draft a wit. Hold have on. a wonderful... We didn't even read it. Can we read it? I'd like to read it, please. Um, notes. Sahar Hazanov's will. This is Sahar Hazanov's will, and last will and testament. It's many pages long, but the most important part is she names Blake Aldwell as her primary heir. Apparently, he was an illegitimate child of one of her sons. Oh, many pages long? I mean, how, how much stuff did she have? I've got a will, and it's about three pages. Good God. Is it? All right. Like I said, Sorry. be careful. There you go. You got it. Yep. That's wonderful. But Blake Aldwell. Who's he? Well, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. All right. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. Oh. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. Well, do you know what? I don't expect he's going to take it lying down if he really wants, you know, the land or whatever. No, he won't. But this ain't neon. Isn't. We've got real laws here in Aquila City. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service. Don't wish to be rude, but if you're going to talk with the English accent, please use, you know, correct English. Ain't. This ain't. This isn't. <laughs> you're probably all thinking, my God, Eve is, like, horrible. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only messing about. All right, so... Well, our next job, I wonder what we should... Maybe we should go and see that, that fella and say, uh, yeah, about your miners. Um, or maybe we should sabotage the latest batch of Henry's beer first. Maybe we should do that. Let's do that, first of all, before we do anything else. Okay, so Henry's beer. Down here, this place. Hey, Sam. Have you woken up now? Are you ready to be a part of this team and not just a... Spare part of this team. That bank robbery sounded intense. It was. It was super intense. How do we? How do we get in here? This way. Ah! 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 These are the tanks, are they? Okay. Not doing anything. <laughs> Nothing at all. Okay. So. Uh, I can't actually remember what she told us to do. It does just say sabotage it. So. Overheating it would maybe do something. I I I assume. Okay. I don't know. I I I've never brewed beer in my life, so I couldn't possibly say. All right. Okay. What else can we do here? Uh, a guard said that Mr. Tate has been trying to help the people of the stretch. Ah, there you go. Another one. See, we are trying to be nice. I'm trying my very best to make up for um, my past. Uh, what would you call it? My past terrible acts. Even though they weren't that terrible, let's be real. Ah! If you are ever looking to buy property, remember me, Mr. Tate. Mm. I'll just call you Mr. Tate. 
I've no chance of pronouncing your first name, I'm afraid. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Mr. Tate, and you have the look of a newcomer. Oh, Welcome yeah. to Aquila City. I don't suppose you're in the market for real estate. If so, then look no further. Oh, buy a house? Um. Yeah, I don't know about buying a house here. That seems a little on the nose. It doesn't hurt to hear about them, though, right? I have two properties for sale. This one here is a refurbished colonial manor in the heart of the core. All right. I also have a more modest one bedroom in Midtown. Any interest in them? Um. Tell me about them. Yeah, it's I don't want to be rude. It's the I've had in years. Spacious in the core itself. I took great pains to get all the approvals, so the neighbors should be no problem. It's historic and spacious. Oh my, so much space. And the price is a veritable bargain. Yeah, I'm not really I can't interested. say I'm surprised. As rare as properties like this are, rarer still is the buyer who can afford it. Oh, I can afford you it. You do take care. I'm just uh, not interested in, in buying it. Well, how do I... My manor in the core has been approved by both the mayor and the historian. How do it's I... an unfurnished one bedroom, lots of space. It's a very convenient location, just a block or so from Co Plaza. All right. Are you interested? Uh, no. A shame. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know. Apparently, he doesn't want to talk to us about his um. People in the stretch. You gonna say anything else? That's the best realtor in town. Wait. Oh, there before you go. You go. All right. My instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Oh, I. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Oh, it's your lucky day. I used to be a miner. Excellent. There are so many in the stretch living in terrible conditions. Mm -hmm. The low house and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. Okay. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. All right. Um. Fine. And it truly is the best cause. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. All right. Well, okay. But we're oh. just going to be doing some mining, I guess. Down Seems here. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Oh yeah. Spreading like a virus. Okay. Whoa. All right, let's just, just, just. Okay, um. I don't think I have my cutter on. There you go. Now we do. Celebrating something. No, I'm, I'm. Destroying this rock. There we go. Iron. I don't really want any of these things, but that's fine. Okay. Hello. Just keep your gun holstered during your stay. It's not a gun, it's cutter. Alright. Well, it's done. Okay. See, I'm trying to do all the good things. All the nice things for all the all the poor impoverished folks. So many memories of happy homeowners building new lives. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. Well, thanks. That um, that's always nice. Okay, so that's another one. Bite in the dust. Wait for one day. Um, refurbished goods. Hmm. Okay. Do you know what would be nice? I don't think you can do it. No, you can't. It would be nice if you could filter by location. But, never mind. Right, well, what we will do then... Let's go and speak with this Kelton Frush dude. I 
quite curious about him. Alright, right, Kelton Frush. Oh no. Kelton Frush was this guy, wasn't he? God bless it! Well, alright. Well, well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Hey, dude. I hadn't expected to run into you again. Well, I could be surprising. Looks like you're still hard at work, yeah? Indeed, I am. Good. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. All right. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. Oh. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Oh dear. Um, if these vibrations continue to increase in frequency like you're saying, it could possibly be harmful to humans. Okay. Yes, and not just humans. All organic life will be affected. All right. Low frequency vibrations are not uncommon in this species. The vibrations help disperse nutrients throughout the tree. However, normally the vibrations are imperceptible. If the vibrations continue to increase in frequency and strength, prolonged exposure could lead to harmful and potentially deadly side effects. It's imperative we find a way to correct this. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. Oh. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, personnel? if you understand me. Uh, co-worker and jilted lover? What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. All right. He and I don't see eye to eye, and oh. so far he's refused to turn it over to me. Mm. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. You hear that tree creaking? What do you say? <sighs> yeah, I'll do oh, it. Oh, thank you. Uh, last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Oh. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process. Alright, cool. So we have to talk to this Emilio. Emilio, dude. Which is fine. And while we're here, what we are going to do as well is we are going to get a. Is it an emergency kit? For Betty, and we're gonna go out and get Betty. Because apparently Betty is quite the companion, so. Oh! He's not really on the outskirts of the city, is he? That's a little stretch. Alright, hey dude! Mind your step. Important research happening here. Alright. Can, can you. Will you. Hello? Can we. Hello? <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. You're very rude. Um. Yeah. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. In what sense? Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Um... I know how you feel. This is all frustrating for you, but you need to do the right thing here. It'll be cathartic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Nope. Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. And how am I going to do that? I am a mercenary. Uh, what do you want me to do? Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Really? Mm. Do you know what? Fine. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. 
I'm not sure how far I'm willing to stick my neck out for a tree. If that makes me the asshole... I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a back door into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Hmm. Do you know, it does sound kind of fun. I do like a challenge. Eh, why not? Okay, let's not get too excited. It should be really simple. Alright. Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. Yeah, what data am I deleting here, dude? Come on. Oh, don't worry about it. I it's will. Just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Everything? Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I just received a few very unfair reviews recently, and I figure, why not start over completely? <sighs> uh, Aren't you worried someone will notice it's missing? Not much experience with government bureaucracy, huh? The mass network is running off hardware that is decades old. They don't upgrade anything unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh. This will just be one entry in a long list of mild annoyances that aren't worth following up on. It's kind of amazing, really. <sighs> All right, well, Best whatever. Best luck out there. Whatever. Right, let's go and get this emergency kit. I'm not going to do it straight away. This science business. Oh, I could just pick up Andreja right now, couldn't I? I could just go and do it. It'd be as easy as breathing. <sighs> God bless it. Right, okay. We need to get to, get to the shops and then... Um, Get ourselves an emergency kit. I imagine Trade Authority would do it, wouldn't they? Okay. Thanks for shopping Maybe at Jemison not. Mercantile. Can I help you with something? Yes, I'm after a repair kit, please. For my good friend. Well, soon to be good friend, Betty. Alright. I'm surely going to be able to find it in, in, in Neon. Oh, and I can deliver these parcels and stuff. Okay, let's, let's do that. Oh, God. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dull Neon. No, well, there you go. All right. All right. Hello? Anything? Got anything you need to offload? Oh, I thought this was where we... Hold on. It is you. God hey, bless it. What can I do for you? I've got the Star Parcel done. You the courier? You. Yeah. I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Thank Anything you. Anything else you need? Nope, that's it. Thank you. Wow, 10,500 credits for delivering a parcel? Jeez Louise. Okay, let's let's head into Neon and just see if we can find a repair kit in here. here. No repair kits in Time there. Ah. Huh. Repair kit? Where the hell would we buy a repair kit? We get it from the mining league, would we? Uh, there's another there shop down right? here. Coochie's a lot of fun. Maybe they'll be able to help us out. All your Hello. You should have seen the look on Dexler's face when we told him. God couldn't paint a better picture. Hmm. Okay. Of course. I have a huge inventory to choose from. Hmm. Watch your back out there. No repair kit. Well, I am um, ever so slightly baffled. You want to see how it wouldn't be a medical thing, would it? I suppose I can always check. Excuse me. Yep. You'd think if it was for a ship, then it would be a, a ship thing, but alright. You and Abby really pulled through for me. Can I talk to you, dude? Hello? Sir? What can Reliant Medical do for you? Uh, yeah, do you have any spots? I have a for few it? items left, I think. Hmm. No. Help, well, that's kind of scuppered us a little bit. So much for getting Betty. Whoa! Right. Well. Huh. I wonder how far we are from this. 
Let's have a look. Oh man, we are far away. Well, actually, no. If we go to Albatani, maybe we could go and get this, this, whatever this is. It's got to be some kind of power, hasn't it? What? Whoa, whoa! My ship is in tatters, all dented and worn. But I trust my old engine to get back by morn. Way all right, let's... happy to meet a stranger. Oh, my singing was to your liking. Yeah, uh... Yeah, it did. It was very cheerful. Oh, and now you've made mine. Oh, well, isn't that I'm nice? I'm afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Oh, all right. See your travels. Well, that's... Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, just... Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a, an interesting... Um, encounter, I suppose. All right. We're nearly there. We are on our way to... Why can't we go to Masada? Really? Really? After all that? Faffing around? I, I can't get there? Oh. oh, well, after going all the way, I'll actually show you on the map. After going all the way back to the galaxy. Oh, no, we can't do that. Well, I tried to go for that power. Unfortunately, it was just too far for us. So I thought, you know what? Why don't we come back? And get our fancy new ship because we should be able to um, to fly it now, should we not? Whoa, Jesus! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah. I think so, anyway. Oh, easy, easy. This is it. The Kepler R. I think we can fly this ship now. I think we can, and I would quite like to give it a go just to see, you know. Climb aboard. This is where I belong. You were very close again, dude. You need to stop doing that, man. It's weird. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Well, where in the name of God is the cockpit to this thing? Aha. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Can I fly it? Can I fly it? Can I fly it? Can I fly it? Oh my god, I think I can fly it! Alright, you have commandeered a new ship. If you dock to a star station, land on a planet, or grab jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Any quest objects or passengers in your previous home ship will be transferred to your new ship. Okay. Well, do you know what? Shall we, um... Let's undock. The Frontier will somehow find its way back to wherever it needs to go. Why? Okay. Okay. Oh, look at the frontier, though. That's so sad. Okay, let's, um... Back it up, back it up. Let's have a look. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. It's um, not as nice looking on the on the back end as the um, the frontier, I have to say. But moves kind of nice. I like it. Shall we? Um, I wonder how far it can grab jump. Probably not this far, but let's have a look. Oh my God! It can actually take us all the way there. Well, now I've got to do it. Whoa. This is now your home ship, Frontier, returning to base. Perfect. All right. Well, holy guacamole. Oh, no. Well, you finally Scorpius. Up. Yes? No more words. Let's settle. Helix. I don't 
don't suppose either of you will listen to reason. You had your chance to pick a side. Oh, all right. Now go walking back from your lone wolf strategy now. All right, well, yeah, that's fine. I'll just, um... Yeah. A fight in the heavens themselves. What more could we ask for? Hmm. It's not as manoeuvrable as the old uh, frontier. Starborn Guardian. Hey, there you go. Actually, bloody well did it, folks. We bloody well did it. So let's get down there. Oh my god. The ship is... It's good, it's just not very manoeuvrable. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Let's go. Jesus. Okay. This thing is huge! It's absolutely monstrous. There's just one other thing. Charm to it. Hi. Hi. Please disregard. I attempt Do I not have my yeah I do. An informal greeting, but I am Look at the size of this thing, man, it's huge! Good god! Anyway, 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 anyway. I think we have officially gone on for long enough. In fact, this thing is just going to keep beeping at me until I go in the warm. So let's just go in the warm, shall we? Well, that was quite the battle royale. But I think, you know, I think that we are going to leave it there for today. Next time we will go into the temple at last and find out just exactly what is in there. So, until next time. Be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.